We have prepared our schools for the potential of mass violence. The attack in Boulder this week happened at a grocery store, but it is their school district prepared for trauma that's now stepping in to help the community, not just students, parents too. Here's Anusha Roy. Monday afternoon, a Boulder Valley School District employee was inside the grocery store. The district says they've heard about courageous King Supers employees moving people, including their colleague, into offices and closets away from the shooting. Our community needs that support. And the people who were in King Supers are parents of our students. And that's our response. And BVSD is part of the community. BVSD is the community. So it's in that sense that we're responding not knowing who was there. The district is also deeply mourning. Denny Stong and Ricky Olds were graduates. Two other victims, Kevin Mahoney and Suzanne Fountain, were parents of graduates. We've had um, families that just live really close to the store, and we've also had uh, a parent that was actually in the store when everything happened. Boulder Valley knew people would turn to them, and they had counseling sessions this morning. And not only have students come in, but so have their families. And when they're leaving, they're like, thank you. Thank you for talking to us. Students as young as pre-K or kindergarten that needed support, as well as parents that need support. So we've had all in between. Everybody goes to the supermarket, so it doesn't have to be the king super. King Supers in Boulder, Colorado. It could be any King Supers. Uh, and trauma affects us differently. So we want to make sure that even though you weren't there, you could be experiencing something as well. The district is making sure people are in place at every school to help, while also leaning on each other to make sure those offering help offer the same to themselves because they'll be here in the long run for anyone who needs it. The district is playing, I think, a vital role because I believe that it's the hub of the community. So we want to make sure that our families and staff are taken care of. And in the same way that you heard about the district talking about the counselors and the mental health advocates taking care of themselves, they're saying the same thing to the parents and the students as well. And they know a lot of people are having some really difficult conversations within their families. And Kyle, if there's one thing they wanted people to know tonight was that you don't have to navigate all of that by yourself. They're there to help guide you through those conversations. And Nusha, we should mention this happening while they're on spring break. Yeah, so the students actually weren't in class all week and they're going to be coming back and early next week coming back to an expanded in person learning. And so that's where we're going to see a lot of the layers of the counselors and the mental health advocates at each of those schools. And families should also know that, you know, you can reach out directly to your counselor. You can go to the school district's website. There's a whole bunch of different ways that you can connect with people right now if you need to get to those resources. Thank you, Nusha.